Bontanitab, which is our leading compound, has a very unique mechanism of action. So at the beginning, when we um, learned is it decreases the expression, protein expression of APP. And then later we discovered that it also can reduce the protein expression of alpha synuclein. So we were very puzzled. These two proteins are very different. So how does Brontanitab regulate those different proteins, protein regulation? It doesn't regulate at the DNA level. It does not affect the MRA level, but it affects protein translation. So later on, we found that it actually, these neurotoxic aggregating proteins, APP alpha synuclein and Huntington prion um, PDP43, in their MRA, the five prime UTR region, it has a very conserved atypical ion regulatory element. So this element make those proteins respond, translation response to the ion level um, intracellularly. In all of those um, neurodegenerative diseases, and even in just regular aging, the iron level in our brains are slowly accumulating. In the acute um, trauma like TBI, you would have acute, acute um, influx. Um, so these neurotoxic proteins would be chronically or acutely overexpressed and then cause those toxic effects. So our drug can help those um, IRE domain to bind to IRP, which is ion response protein, when binding, those MRAs would not have access to the ribosome, so they actually would not be expressed. So by helping the IRE and IRP binding longer in the high ion situation, we can reduce the overexpression of those neurotoxic proteins in the neurodegenerative disease situations. So it's actually helping the proteins going back to the protein homeostasis so it's very different from the um, srRNA or monoclonal antibodies. They will just continue to reduce um, the protein levels. And also our bontanitab, because all those neurotoxic proteins share the same translational mechanism, so they, it can actually regulate multiple neurotoxic proteins of expression at the same time. Because we know that um, even Alzheimer's disease, we're talking about, you know, a beta oligomers, we're talking about, you know, neurofilament tangles, but it's way beyond that. Over 50% of Alzheimer's patients in their brains, you will find alpha synuclines. About a third, you would find a TDP43. So those proteins are all there. It's just that their functions hadn't been really uh, studied before in the Alzheimer's situation.